to the university. Somebody too will finish the university. There will be no desire to move elsewhere. We, we, we are stuck at a place. Amen? Amen. 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 It says we said I want to be in pain. No, but the enemy will make you feel that no, you stay here, don't go anywhere. Because you clock is going to So yeah, we stay okay. Like what Pharaoh told the people of Israel that you can go but don't go far. God is saying that we must break them. And all these things sometimes it works even in our minds. As the Bible said in 2 Corinthians 10, it said that although we walk in the flesh, but we don't war against the flesh. We war against... Let's read that one. From 2 Corinthians 10. That we are praying that God will deliver us from some kind of bondage in our minds. Amen. 2 Corinthians 10. Amen. 2 Corinthians 10. Amen. He said, start from three. He said, for though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. We don't war like, like Palestine and, and Israel. Our war strategy is different. Amen. From verse four. He said, the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. Daddy explained that strongholds are mind, some cultures, some traditions, some things that we have we have inherited from our families. So, oh, here, this is how we, we do it. This is how we do it. We have accepted some of those, some of these customs and traditions, and we are not going anywhere. Meanwhile, God wants us to go and take territories. Sometimes painful, you hear somebody say, Oh, at least I have my um, um, one room at least I, I work at least at the end of the month I at least they give me maybe two thousand and we are so content meanwhile we cannot pay other persons school even that twenty two thousand we cannot even eat three times but we feel so proud about it God said that we should break up and advance we can earn hundred thousand amen we can build four bedrooms we can own estates God has already given us those things. But because of what we carry in our mind, that we don't want trouble. No, we don't want trouble. We, we don't want to worry ourselves. At least I'll finish JHS. Let me go and learn something. At least at the end of the day, I can get some 500 to eat. That is all. Come this time. Hallelujah. Say that our weapon, they are not kind of, but they are might to go to the pulling down of stronghold. We are praying and we are coming on that any tradition that has held us down, customs, teaching, some kind of informal education, some things our parents even taught us while we were growing up. We are we have stayed glued to it. The man away. Meanwhile, there's a higher version of that. Are you ready to pray? I want us to pray the Lord help me break come from any kind of stronghold in my mind. I'm ready to change. That is that we are agent of change. We are agent of change. We, when we avail ourselves, God will bring a change through us. And it will affect our generation, even born and unborn. Hallelujah. Shall we, shall we be on our feet as we clap our hands and we pray that Lord deliver me from any stronghold in my mind, any tradition, any custom, anything that matters. Practices, practices that is holding me down. I break them from it in the name of Jesus. I break them from any stronghold. Marco, Sapapa, the thing that our fathers will be telling you, they will be telling you this. So, honestly, story by the fathers.
we give you all the glory, say, we love you. We alone deserve it. We alone is worthy. It's such a faithful God. The glory. We worship you. We worship you. You are worthy. I'm 
the praise of I serve the praise of Say, Jesus, my shepherd, God, says my shepherd, my Savior, my prophet. Says my shepherd, Savior, my prophet, priest and king, my Lord, my Lord, my I, my way, my I said the prayers, said the praise, how sweet the name of Jesus sounds. How sweet the name of Jesus in that a believer as soon as sorrow his sorrows heals heals his wounds and enjoys the ways it makes the wounds that say it makes the wounded spirit and comes the song and comes that troubled mind say smile up to the hungry soul to the hungry and to the weary My shepherd, Jesus, my shepherd, my prophet, my prophet, priest, my Lord, my love, my Lord. One more time, my Lord, my life, my Lord, my life, my way, 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 my Yeah. 
utmost fear. Come and lay down the burdens you have carried, for in this land to worry, God is here. There is a sweet thing, there is a sweet anoint, anoint in me the sanctuary. There is a stillness, there is a stillness in the utmost me. Come and lay down, come and lay down the burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary, God. So much time. There is a sweet, there is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a sweet in the atmosphere. Come and lay down. Come and lay down the burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary, sing God, God is here. Sing He is here, He is here, God is here. Oh, to break the yoke, to break. And let the help be born. Sing, he is see God. Oh, God is here. Oh, to heal the hopeless heart. To heal the hopeless heart. And bless the poor. To come lay down. Come and lay down. The burden to. So come lay down, come and lay down the burdens you have carried. For in the sanctuary, God is here. So come and lay down.
You have not come to man. This gathering is unto God. In the name of Jesus, pray right now. Call on Him. In the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your many sided grace. Thank you for the opportunity to sit at your feet. For down at your feet is the most high place. Change us, challenge us. Transform us, inform us, bring us to the place of healing, deliver us, O oh God. Let the Zion encounter make your people possess their possession in the name of Jesus Christ. Insulate us for the coming month, and Lord, order our steps, O oh God, by the confines of your word. For the entrance of your word brings for life. Let everyone, under the sound of my voice, in person and live streaming be touched by your power in jesus name amen 
Shall we be seated in the presence of the Lord? We honor King Jesus for life. We bless the name of the Lord for you know, uh, bringing us this far in the convocation. Hallelujah. If you care to know those of you who are worshiping for, with us for the first time, we are ending a fast. Tell your neighbor we are ending a fast. Hallelujah. Amen. We are ending a fast. And if we are ending a fast, we have to do it well. I've come to realize that the end of a thing is better than its beginning. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the time that we bring, you know, supernatural seals to what we have done. You buy medication and you are told that when the seal is broken, don't consume the product. Hallelujah. And so we come to the communion table and we have the seal of the body of Christ and his blood as well. Amen. Hallelujah. Our, our broader umbrella has been break camp and advance. Tell your neighbor, break camp and advance. Tell your neighbor, break camp and advance. Hallelujah. Amen. And so, this is what has been our team, and uh, we derive this from Deuteronomy chapter number one, Deuteronomy chapter one, and from verse number three, the verse number four, five, six, and the seventh verse specifically. Hallelujah. Let's do a quick reading and we will get saved. Amen. Are we in the house? In the name of Jesus. So, from the NIV. We read that in the 40th year, on the first day of the 11th month, which day is the first day of the 11th month? Wednesday, hallelujah. Don't miss there is going to be an evening service here. It's going to be powerful, hallelujah. Amen. Don't miss it for anything that is passing, hallelujah. And you must grab it. So, it says that the Moses is a symbol of a pastor. Came to the Israelites, the people of God, KHM, KHM diaspora, wherever you find yourself connected to this altar. It says that all that, that, that the Lord had commanded him concerning them. So there are words written about you. Tell your neighbor, there are words written about you. So angels, there are watchers, there are, there are angels that have been assigned to ensure that according to the volumes of the book, that is written about you as it is in heaven it must be done but sad to say we veer off we meander and we get into wrong terrains may the lord god bring us back to order amen so moses had to tell the people let's go to the verse number four now he told them at a particular point this was after he had defeated sihon king of the amorite who reigned in hezbon and Ed at edrel had defeated a king of Basha who reigned in Asherah. In other words, he had chucked some successes in the past. But in this very service, we are saying bye bye to gainful and painful past. Do you understand? Because what is ahead of you is more than what you have experienced. Tell your neighbor what is ahead of you is more than what you have experienced. So Paul said it in a proper way. He said that this one thing I do, forgetting about what is behind, I press on to the mark of higher calling. God's highest and best await you. Tell your neighbor, God's highest and best await you. Hallelujah. And then a verse number five of same verse five. He says, now the, 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 he, the, he was telling them the geographical location of the happening. And any time the word of God comes to you, it comes to you in a place. Because we serve a God of a place. If you will bless, he blesses in a place. If you will be cursed, you are cursed in a place. Are you understanding what I'm saying? If your name happens to be Abraham and he says that, get out of your father's house and go to a place, it means there is a blessing in that place. Tell your neighbor, God is a God of a place. So he was telling them that specifically where they were east of the Jordan in the territory of the Moab Moses began to expound your Moses is expounding the word to you may all those who have the voice the ears of God listen to what the Lord is telling you hallelujah and then he said so extract from the verse number 6 this is the word the Lord our God said past to us at Horeb you have stayed long enough at this mountain you have stayed long enough in
in this sickness you have stayed long enough in this poverty you have stayed long enough in this lackadaisical christianity you have stayed long enough in this prayerlessness you have stayed long enough in this kind of accusations here and there on which having a police issues different litigations different kinds of things happening to you you are still long in always you alone all the nurses and doctors they know your child because every two weeks your child must be sick all the pharmaceutical shops they know you because you are always buying drugs spending your livelihood on drugs the question becomes this where have you stayed for so long a time hallelujah Amen. So verse number seven. Note this. Note this. The, 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 the prescription comes. It says break camp and advance. The word that came was break. When you say break, it has an inference of a force. And the Bible makes us to understand in Matthew, in Matthew 11 or something. It says that, you know, um, and from the days of John the Baptist up to now, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence take it by force. Hallelujah. Passivity is when things are happening in your life, but you don't resist the happening. Neither do you respond positively to happen. You are passive. Say whatsoever should happen to me should happen. Whatever will be. May it be far away from you. May it be far away from your enemies as well. Hallelujah. So he said, break camp and advance. Where? Advance where? Now he shows them the place into the hill country and those of you who were here yesterday i talked about nine levels of elevation nine levels of promotion hallelujah there is god's highest and best for you and i pray that you will not settle for anything less than god's highest and best amen may the lord god add his blessing to the reading of his word this morning i share with us go forward go forward tell your neighbor go forward break camp and advance go forward Advance means to go forward. Hallelujah. Break up and advance. Advance there in the NIV just simply means NASA. Whether NASA Space Center, whatever. You have to go up. Tell your neighbor I'm going up to higher places. Hallelujah. I'm pressing on the upward way. Go forward. Hallelujah. I am going forward in all dimensions of my life. Hallelujah. Amen. Life comes with several blows. Life comes with several twists and turns. And you and I, in one way or the other, we get caught up and stuck in several things. Either spiritually, physically, health-wise, world-wise, academically, or, and so on and so forth. There is always a place. Most of the time, you realize that you are up somewhere, but in a particular arena of your life, you are down. May the Lord God lift us up. I said, may the Lord God lift us up. Mortars were made for mobility. Mortars were made for mobility. And the law of movement says that when people are in motion, results happen. When people are in motion, results happen. So for that matter, we are believing God that we will not just move, but you will move into God's highest and best. Say, I am the one. Say, I am the one. Hallelujah. We are saying no to, you know, any immobilization, anything that hinders us, anything that makes our feet be shut in fetters. In the name of Jesus, we are going to push through, pierce through, and get into our purpose. Amen. But how can this be when we are doing the same thing and expecting the same result? Hallelujah. As I said that he's a fool who does the same thing and expects a different result. And so then when you do same, you get the same result. And then one man I chose on called Max Dupree said this. He said that we cannot become what we need to be by remaining what we are. Can you let it go down a bit? Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot become what you want to be what you want to be so when paul saw it in philippians chapter 3 the bible makes us to understand that this one thing i do what are you going to do today are you going to change your mind because change is of the essence if you don't change change will change you 
and say you better change tell your neighbor change something must be changed some formula some methodology because your ways are not my ways neither your thoughts my thoughts many a time you can think that oh i'm scripturally right but you can be relationally wrong <laughs> you can't you can you can be religiously right and relationally wrong and so we must come to that place what does god wants me to do in this service as we are about to push deeper into prayer and come into the communion service we are praying that god by his power will help us to initiate some change hallelujah amen time will not permit me to go into all the forms of change, change that happens in you to you around you and so on and then the, the, the fourth one is the change you initiate i want you to initiate some change today amen advancement is the hallmark of life everything that god has made he expects that it grows when we don't grow it's an indictment to divinity and so then how do we do it is it by our mind is it by our power zachariah 4 says, says not by might not by power but by my spirit say it the lord if that is so then is um psalm number one two seven also makes us to understand if the lord does not build they labor in vain those who build if the lord does not watch they watch in vain could it be that you are watching in vain could it be that you are building in vain hallelujah first samuel chapter number 12 and verse number six gives us a deep answer here Samuel, the quintessential prophet speak up and says this great word he says that and Samuel said and Samuel says unto the people it is the lord that advanced moses eh? so moses could not move into advancement please please who is there kjv so now so it is the lord who advanced moses it is the lord who advanced say it is the lord that advanced moses hallelujah it is the lord who advanced moses you stretch any further you could say ordained moses uh, anointed moses appointed moses and so on built moses made moses who he is hallelujah amen and many of you are Moseses of your generation many of you you are the leaders of your family you might be the youngest but there is a leadership role for you tell you remember pastor is speaking to you so now from this scripture we deduce that you know if god is the one who advanced moses then god can advance me i might rise up to break camp but in my advancement may the lord advance me may the lord order my steps psalm 119 verse 133 order my steps in your word so that i will not be overcome by iniquity i pray that the lord will order our steps may the lord order your steps in your next level where are you where are you is stuck you realize there is some stuckness you are stuck in something you, know, you don't know you don't know sometimes we become apathetic in our stuck when we are stuck when we are limited when we are inhibited you can call it stagnation when there is no flow when there is no movement life is not a monument but a movement and so there must be a flow hallelujah in your finance in your health in all arenas of your life may the lord god advance you so in this aspect we are going to very soon rise up in prayer we are going to deal with satanic seductive stagnation the traffic of our life we are going to come against it because anytime you see that you have plateaued in a life it is a symptom of a particular problem why am i not going it is not just the issue there are other things under current issues you are cutting the tree by its its, its stem or by its you know, branches but you don't know that the roots are there the bible says i have set you over nations to approve to overthrow to cast down to build and to plant there are root causes tell me about there are root causes so then when you come into the presence of the lord and there is what we call satanic uh, seductive stagnation you should know ah the person is cold could it be that the person has malaria so it's not the cold the cold is what a symptom 
Hallelujah. The person might have what we call rigor and the whole body is shaking after 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 delivery or something. Could it be that something has gone wrong in there? Are you understanding what I'm saying? And so then we need to address the source and we are going to go to the source. Some of you, the source will take you to your matrilineal line. Some of you, the source will take you to your patrilineal line. You might be a pastor, you might be a pope, but I'm telling you that there are stops in our bloodline. Last, in the course of the week, I shared with us how Moses struggled. How Moses struggled, not knowing his lineage, his father's lineage was full of anger. The house of Levi, you read from Genesis 49, you realize that Levi was full of fury and anger. The Bible says Moses' mother, uh, um, um, Jacob and father Amram, they were married, they were all from Levi. So the mother had anger issues. The father had anger issues. My God, when God sent him, he says, go speak to the rock. He says, hey, you rebels, come here. Then he smite the rock twice. Moses. Hallelujah. When I say this, I say I don't want to go into his name. If you understand deliverance, you realize you must be careful the name they name you. You might like your father, mother, but if you realize that the name is, is Jabez, then you better petition God. I say Jabez just for an example. But Moses means drawn from a water. Which water is that? And all through Moses' life, it was water issues. For another day so then whatsoever you have sometimes we delude ourselves that we go to church but listen we are not the same as some of our western brothers where we are in africa <laughs> we are not the same our system doesn't work like their system several things people's understanding are different in diverse ways while some others were worshiping god in some other region some of us our our parents were pouring libation even right now you are in church in your nice calf but somebody could be calling your name me by man say me go and send some of you mumbo on mumbo on man is here mumbo on man is here me didn't say goodness me didn't say goodness so 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 different things could be happening you don't know you some of you are there you hear your name strangely you are here you hear your name you tell her you are asking your spouse did you call me hey, hey, Abna, did you call me nobody called you they are calling your name you they wake you up rough rough hallelujah the bible says that judah you are like the lion's well when you sleep and you cry who dares arouse you you have been saved by the wrong line of the tribe of Judah, but the Nyanyan will rough off. They wake you up. Anyway, somebody say no more. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, break up and advance. And, and so any form of stagnation, any form of, 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 of uh, immobility in your life, anything that is stifling your life, stifling your growth, stifling your development, making you look like a car in the neutral gear hallelujah exerting energy expending fuel but going nowhere somebody say no more hallelujah when you get into that place then we say that you are passive passivity passivity you know takes over the activity of your life and in all forms of passivity you will see this an acceptance of what happens without active response or resistance whatever should happen should happen no we are going to rise up to pray you will not sit down for life to happen to you you will rise up and happen to life can i send you to 64 people tell them rise up and happen to life and when you rise don't sit <laughs> rise up and happen to life let god arise let his enemies be scattered let god arise let his enemies be scattered we have fasted we have come before the lord something must i don't know about you but i'm sick and tired of being sick and tired seeing second the way it is seeing things in ghana the way it is seeing some things in my life the way it is he said that you are a pastor as you are a pastor everything is again ask our pastors whether everything is fine with them we are first men before of god a man of God. I sneeze. Meeting. Hello? Are we here? Are we here? Hallelujah. And so we are first men. 
before of God and uh, we all have different kinds of issues that could bother and then everybody sees the pastor as a superhero but could it be that there is an arena we have to break up and advance in our character in our 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 study in our prayer in diverse ways in the levels of the supernatural the manifestations of the anointing and so on you might be moving in the revelatory gift but not the power gift you go around and you tell people things about them but you can't take them through deliverance you expose them to demonic attack it's a wash it wash it wash it wash it then you go and then demons come and beat you from no way hallelujah we are going to happen to life we are not accepting the status quo we are praying and we are coming against every satanic intent selected against us in some family people get sick you really a particular sickness goes on and science will tell you that it was idea so it's a family history so accept it you accept and take medication and the same medication will keep on taking you to hospital back somebody shout no more as we are fasting Isaiah 58 and verse number 6 Isaiah 58 verse number 6 it says that it says that it's not this the fast that I have chosen so this is a chosen fast of the Lord God led fast by his unerring spirit there is a, 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 a you know a question mark then it goes this is the reason for the fast this is the purpose for the fast I want you to fast because Mark 9 29 says how big this thing cannot come forth except by fasting and by prayer the disciples want to cast out something they said that well I will not go Jesus told them they asked Jesus why couldn't we cast it out he said this kind cannot come forth except by fasting and prayer so he said that this is the fast chosen for, to lose the bands of wickedness to undo heavy burdens and to let the oppressed go free and that you break every yoke amen, amen. hallelujah amen. hallelujah amen. it says that what to lose every band to lose the bands of wickedness tell you never lose the bands of wickedness hallelujah amen and, and when we talk about band, we are talking about fetters a fetter those of you writing is is uh, um, katsu katsuba katsuba c h a r t s u b b a h katsuba and then it simply means a fetter and then stretching it further a pain a pain a kind of pain as you remember which pain are you in it could it be the pain of rejection could it be that you don't know even your family members as if you are the only island in town hallelujah could it be that academically you are struggling something health the vicissitude different kinds of things happening financial issues here and there even some people don't want to see your face because you keep on begging and begging i've never seen the righteous forsaken nor he see begging for bread but if the word of god is true then may your tables be turned around today hallelujah it's stretching it further looking at bands somebody say bands tell your neighbor lose the bands of wickedness so now so there's pain suffering discomfort all forms of torture agony and so on and so forth in looking at this it brings us to that place where we must make an utterance because life and death are in the power of the tongue are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus as i come before you lord I lose him any ban any band of wickedness any band of bands of wickedness of any kind of pain any kind release into my life release into my health release into my sinners release into my family release into my marriage release into my relationship release into my devotion in the name of jesus as i clap my hands and i pray i declare an end to that i break up and advance from all 
cross the Danic bands. We don't pray right now. We lift up hands and pray. When we choose the fast, when we pass before the Lord, we are not the ones who are struggling to pass before the Lord. We are the ones who are struggling to pass before the Lord. We are the ones who are struggling to pass before the Lord. We are the ones who are struggling to pass before the Lord. We are the ones who are struggling to pass before the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said we should pray so that we will not fall into the wiles of the enemy. The Bible says we are not wrestling against flesh and blood, but against wicked spirit, spiritual rulers of darkness, principalities. Hallelujah. Capons in high places. The Bible says that the weapons of our warfare, they are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Tell you never pull down some stronghold. Tell you never pull down the stronghold of pain. Hallelujah. There is a root cause of something and that thing is creating pain. You can't even smile. You can't laugh. Anytime you engage somebody in a conversation, you begin to cry. We say no more. No more. I say no more. No more. I say no more. No more. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This takes us into Psalm 105. Psalm 105. And from verse number 17 to the 22nd verse. Hallelujah. And we are praying this in the name of the, the Bible says, And he sent a man, a woman, before them, even Joseph, who was sold for a servant. So when God has sent you, they are selling you oh you have no idea of the deliverance realm when you get into the spiritual realm you realize that there is no inflation to their currencies i have been in several deliverance you know a meeting praying for people and then you know some spirit will manifest and so how much did you say hey leave her and they sold that they demand that sold that unto us and whatever and so he said how much once I'm ready with the blood of Jesus, I said, they said that, oh, then they will mention some old capre as carry shell. Look at you, the express image of God. Look at your makeup. Look at your outfit from the crown of your head to the sole of it. Even your dressing right now is more than capre. Hello. Oh, you are quiet on me. You are quiet on me. Somebody wants to devalue you, but somebody say no way. No way. Somebody say no way. No way. You are the Joseph of your family. Tell your neighbor, you are the Joseph of your family. You are the beacon of hope. You might not know it. People might want to say you are good for nothing, but you are good for something. Yes. The devil is a liar. Lift up your head from that, that shame. God is about to honor you. Wherever they have put you to shame, the Lord will honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Joseph sent but sold by somebody. And then many of the Joseph and Joseph were. Joseph West. <laughs> we are, my God, put into different places and you are confused. Going around Horeb for 38 years. How many years now? But we pray that you will break up. Amen. And advance. Hallelujah. Jesus. Verse number 18. Whose feet? They hurt. Pain hurts. I said, well, have you been in pain before? Yeah, when you are in pain, you know you are pregnant. You know that the pain will produce a result. But there are some pains. It's as if you are going to die. When you have some stomach pain and it's around um, 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 142. 
a.m. Hello? All the people you know, they have put up their phone. No boat, no taxi, no Uber. And it's you, yourself, and God. You wish that the, the, the fowls will grow. Oh God. And then the, the morning never comes. Or you are trotting and running. And you don't know how to get up because where you are living is so far. They hurt you. They hurt with fetters. Hallelujah. Amen. Katsuba. They hurt with fetters. Chains. And then he says what? He was laid in iron. They are describing it's not, it's not some wooden chain. Look at your nice beads on you. Look at your nice uh, pearls. Look at uh, hallelujah. And you're able to walk with it. This one is the slave trade one. You go to Elimina Castle, the ones that are there. What? Chains. Somebody who is supposed to be a prime minister is in pain. Prime ministers and prime minister was in pain. Hello. Hallelujah. Amen. Christ took our pain. Christ took the curse. Christ be the one who hangs on the tree. Hallelujah. He took our poverty and gave us riches. And therefore we are coming in the name of him who died and who rose up triumphantly on the third day. It is the name Jesus. And we are saying, every boy, every boy, release into my life to slow me down. For my purpose, for my purpose, for my assignment, for my assignment. in the name of in Jesus, name of I come Jesus. as a Joseph come as of a my, Joseph. Family. my family in the name of in Jesus, name and I declare an end to God's pain. I break up, I break up, I advance from that situation. To when I begin to pray, I stand up and say, "The Lord is with us." I break up, 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 As I said, we were with a child, but we brought for nothing. We were in pain, but we brought for nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the scriptures makes us to know from Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 23. It says that in all labor there is profit. In all labor. So if you must not come into the place of fasting and then not realize. In meeting, you have put man hours into the fasting. You have prayed. Maybe you prayed midnight. Maybe you prayed in the afternoon. Whilst others were relaxing and drinking their cappuccino. You were praying and pressing. I press on, I press, I press, I press. You are pressing, you have to extricate yourself, withdraw yourself from some people. You even didn't take some call so that you can push in further. It should not be in vain. Sometimes grace is loaded on us, but the grace becomes vain. But Paul said, I am what I am because of the grace, and the grace was not in vain. This fasting must not be another religious ceremony. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You must profit. If you don't, the enemy will replace your profit with pain. Somebody say no way. No way. Somebody say no way. No way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the scripture that we're reading from Psalm 105 and verse number 17, 18, thereabout. Yeah. Quickly go there and let's pray. 
Are you ready? Yes, Tell your neighbor you are coming out. You are, coming you are breaking up. up. You are advancing. You are the Bible up. says until the time that his word came. Tell your neighbor the word of God is coming to you. The word of God. Tell your neighbor the word is break up and advance. The word is break up. You've got advance. to break up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Something must change. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of you, you are living somewhere, but you are your own boss with your own a fleet of trucks, your own lawyers, your own pilots. You know, I mean, yeah, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Hallelujah. Princess in the wilderness. Princesses in the wilderness, we are saying no to the no, devil. No. We are breaking camp. We must traverse. We must evolve. We must speak. We must pivot. We must come into the alignment with what is written in heaven. Tell you the pastor is speaking to you. Until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. Tell you about this is the time. Psalm 102 13 says that the set time has come for Zion to be favored, and the time is now. Say the time is now. The time Ecclesiastes 3 says that one, he says that to every sea, every endeavor, every purpose, there is a time, there is a season. Hallelujah. Amen. Say the time is now. The, time is the now. devil is a liar. Is Give me my family. Give my family now. Hey. My God, I'm speaking to somebody. Stop. Give me my business. I take it now. Hey. I take my call. In the the name of Jesus. That healing anointing, I take it now. Yeah. That prayerfulness and the prayer attitude, I take it now. Jesus. That evangelistic ability, yeah. I take it now. Yeah. The prosperity of the Lord, hallelujah, I take yeah. it now. The destruction of the pauper is his poverty, but the heart, the defense of the right of the rich man is his wealth. I pray that, oh my God, may the Lord prosper the work of your hand. Amen. May the Lord establish the work of your hand. Amen. Say this is the time. This is the time. Oh, say, say this is the time. This is the time. As I clap my hand and I pray. And I pray. I declare. I declare. It is time for my life to be perfect. It is time for me to break up. Let your voice and pray. Come on it's now. If it is true that the Lord advanced Moses, the Lord will advance you. Amen. Okay, where are you? I said the Lord will advance you. Amen. I said the Lord will advance you. Amen. Beyond poverty, you will step into prosperity. Amen. In the name of from joblessness to a working person, you will have your own industry. Amen. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Name it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And it will come to pass. Name it and claim it in the name of Jesus. Yeah, I know that we are supposed to be rapture ready, but God said we should occupy till he comes. How are we going to occupy? Occupy with a, a painful purse, wallet, whatever. There is nothing. Hallelujah. The next verse, the next verse takes us to a place and you see, he says that the king sent and lose him. When you pray according to the timelines of God, kings cannot sleep. Satanic kings cannot sleep. May the Lord send the kings to come and lose Amen. the same people who put that bondage on your mother, your mother's mother, your father, your father's father. May the same people come and take their chain away. Say, take your chain away. Take your chain. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Lift your voice and pray. Come on. Let's go, 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 let's go
Everybody say king. Hallelujah. This are potent the Hebrew word is Malek. Malek. When we say Malek, it means a king. Hallelujah. A ruler. A potent. Somebody whose signature must release you. Somebody who when the person puts in a voice for you or introduces you, gates begin to open. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But if you don't find favor before those people, and other people are necromatically working them, the early masses, sorcerers, witchcraft, working behind the scenes. You will be in the situation and you will stagnate. Somebody say no more. No more. Hallelujah. Amen. Promotion does not come from the east or the west. It comes from above. And so God has a way of sending. They have put Joseph in a prison, in a place where he's supposed to be a prime minister. So he is fortunate to his appointment. He is fortunate to his promotion. But prison doors have kept him. There are some prisons you find yourself. If angels do not step in, you will be there and rotten. You can become bishop, ark, ark or pope or whichever. You will still be in that prison. Hallelujah. And then a typical example is Acts chapter 12 where the Lord God sent angels and the gates started opening by themselves. This morning, gates, automated gates should open. Amen. They should open for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Melech, potentate, people you didn't even know them. But maybe you're, it's in the bloodline, your father's but they were, they were raising altars in wrong places. Hallelujah. The fathers have eaten sour grapes and the, the children's seat are set on the egg. Some of the things you don't know, you say you are born again. The fact that you are born again doesn't mean you should just stay there. Obadiah 117. Show me this. Obadiah 117. I will come back. This man. Hallelujah. Obadiah 117 says that upon Mount Zion, Zion is the church. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverers. There shall be deliverers. Hallelujah. Several years ago, one of my Thursday meetings, one of you know, my wife friends was said, Oh, but uh, how can a believer too be possessed? I said, Come, it's behind every character is a spirit. Behind every manifestation is a spirit. So I invited the person to one of our Thursday meetings. And when the demons I said, put your hand on them. Say, hey. Hello? Are we here? Don't joke with your life. Tell your neighbor, don't joke with your life. Is your neighbor annoyed? Tell your neighbor, don't joke with your life. Joyfully join Jesus in the journey for your life. And then you will come. Yeah. Listen, he said, but upon Mount Zion, the church, the, 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 there will be deliverance, there will be salvation, there will be Yeshua, there will be welfare, there will be prosperity, there will be deliverance. Hallelujah. There will be good health. And there shall be holiness. And the house of Jacob, the house of Paddy, shall possess your possession. You think that hey, you are possessing pain, but your possession you must possess. You must profit. Hallelujah. The devil is a liar. We are taking what belongs to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Is somebody here? Yes, sir. Are you hearing my voice? Yes, sir. The Bible says in the book of Esther that the king could not sleep one night. And he said, Bring me the book of Chronicles. Who is here that must be promoted that must be advanced but has not been advanced you read even esther chapter 10 the bible says that and the king advanced mordecai may you be advanced amen hallelujah amen. are you ready to pray yes, sir. are you ready to pray yes, sir. hallelujah the same king the powers the capons whatsoever i don't know their names in your bloodline but they have a name by the mention of the name jesus yeah. every knee must bow Jeez. they must capture and potter they must touch fire hallelujah destroy whatsoever can destroy you in the name of jesus pray lift your voice clap your hands come on let's finish the first Allah <laughs> Allah 
We are still in the book. We are still in the Bible. We are still in the Bible. Hallelujah. Esther chapter number 10 and verse number 2. Listen, according to the volumes of book, I will quote other scriptures, but don't show those words. Hallelujah. Psalm 40 says that, you know, according to the volumes of the books, it's written, is it 8 or wherever? You know, according to the volume 7, 8, according to the volumes of books, it is written. Say something has been written about me. Something has been written. Matthew 6, 10 says that as it is written in heaven, may it be done on earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Look at your neighbor and smile and say, there is more to your life than you see. The devil is a liar. He is teasing you to take less. He is teasing you. He wants to shortchange you. And you, you own the whole uh, acres of land. And they have given you one plot. And you two are happy. Eh, half a loaf. Half a loaf. Panweku. Half a loaf. How can you how can you transcend yourself because it is out of your fullness that you bless others listen some of you the struggle is you you are laying a pathway for your children's children that's why in kitchen we say we are three generational thinkers you must be so tell your neighbor person speaking to you and so here he says that and all the acts of his power Ahisa Ross's power you see that one in what and so Ahisa's power in and, and of his might and the declaration of the greatness of Mordecai now the greatest of who the greatest of who oh put your name there where we call the dad <laughs> and he says that well unto in this case well unto the king advised him you are breaking camp you are advancing the the the, 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 yeah, the, the bike name is uh, uh, you know nasa you will be elevated you will be promoted. Amen. Hallelujah. Like a space rocket, it doesn't fly down. It goes up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Going up to the higher place, is sure that I am the one. I am the one. He says that the king advances. Some kings must do some advancement. Hey. And listen, we are praying a prayer. Listen, I know God is our source, but God uses men, and sometimes men change their mind. hello hallelujah when men change their mind instead of you being in a, a situation for 400 years it got 430 no way i said no way hallelujah tell your neighbor enough is enough enough is so enough. proverbs now you can show this on proverbs 21 1. the bible says that the heart of a king the heart of a king is in the hand of the lord the heart of kings the the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord and as rivers of water he turneth it whatsoever he will say Lord Jesus Lord you Jesus. are the tenor of events you are the tenor of events any potentate any potentate any hero any hero any ruler any ruler who must who must see to my case see to my who case. must come in who must come and loosen the chain loosen the chain touch their heart touch oh my their heart. God hallelujah hallelujah touch their heart touch their Some heart of you, how many singles are here listen <coughs> it might be that that brother watch a pop and the more they wear the pop on their lips the more delays come hallelujah god touch them you are not going to do you if you are that brother you are in trouble today because you have insomnia until you have moved it is time you are looking at second Kradi rose to be repaired before which are that Jerome? hallelujah 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 god has a way of ten i'm telling you somebody must be tired tell me somebody must be tired 
I want to see your elevation. I want to see you break up and advance academically. I want to see you with your Harvard degree. I want to see you for your doctoral study. I want to see you in the name of Jesus. Rise up. Say in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I declare by the blood of the Lamb. Lord Jesus, touch the heart of the king. Touch the heart of the king. Whoever is in that authority, whoever you love this continent, touch them now. Let us begin to pray. There is something that makes me come to your presence. There is something that makes me There is something that makes me my helper, Number 13 to the 16 verse. <clears throat> and Moses <clears throat> said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you today. Somebody say, Today. It's today. We are not talking about tomorrow. It's today. Hallelujah. Some portals must open. Your amen is weak. Uh -huh. I'm the one. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Verse 14 quickly. It says that and the Lord shall fight for you. As you are praying, the Lord shall fight for you. As you open your mouth, the Lord shall fight for you. The shout of the king is with you. Hallelujah. And ye shall hold your peace. Verse 15. And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore criest thou unto me? Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. So many of us are crying, but Paddy has been sent to tell you that go forward. Tell five people, go forward. Uh, the same thing, the same thing. Even what I'm saying, this, you are even sad because you know when you are going home, to, you are going to meet the same. But may the Lord come through for you. I said, may the Lord come through for you. Hallelujah. Amen. And then when he said, go forward, it is that's the word Nasa. It means to pull up the tent peg. Whatever was a transit, you made a permanent place. I, that's not my hope. I move on to the next level. Figuratively, hallelujah. Some of you, you might not change your geographical location. Some of you too, you will change your geographical location. Because there is a blessing in a place for you. I said, there is a blessing in a place for you. Hallelujah. Amen. It also means to start on a journey. Start on a journey. In this journey, you start with your steps. You get into the ways and the paths of the Lord. And it evolves in journey. For the ways of God, they are not our ways. Hallelujah. I will hear. Hallelujah. It means that go on, onward, forward. March. Hallelujah. Remove yourself from the old. Tell your neighbor, pastor, is speaking to you. Hallelujah. Some things you must see them as done, as Paul called it in Philippians 3. He says, all those things that look profitable, I count them as done. You must, if they were not done, but you must define them as so. There are some things, if you don't say bye-bye to them, you will never press into your next level. 
some gainful past. Oh, then always you are saying that. In fact, when I was young, when I was 20, uh, the way I could shake myself, now when I shake, nothing shakes. Hello? No, no, no. What can you do now? Hallelujah. Are we here? May your steps, your ways, your pathways evolve into God's glorious journey for you. Hallelujah. And so for this, Job said this. Job said in Job 23 and verse number 11. He said, my foot had held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. My foot had held his steps. Say, Lord Jesus, let my foot lay hold on your steps. Hallelujah. Amen. And so when you say this, you are invariably saying the Lord Jesus, my goings are not in myself. According to Proverbs chapter number 20 verse 24. A man's goings are not in himself. Tell your neighbor your goings are not in yourself. Man's goings are not in yourself. Is a goings, man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? That's why we get confused. But he's called us in Proverbs 3 as well in 5 2 says, Don't show it. He says that in all your ways, acknowledge me, and I will what? Direct your path. Tell your neighbor, God wants to direct your path. Hallelujah. In Psalm 17, verse 5 and 6, it says, Hold up my goings in thy path. Hold up my goings. Say, Lord Jesus, hold up my goings in thy path that my footsteps slip not uh, have you fallen have you slipped before or your high heel broke may it not happen at your wedding you have no idea what the prayer people pray at people's wedding lord let the weave go off let it let that thing be detached no attachment we detach we detach once you are attaching they are detaching they look at the bay hey, yeah. mm. they are in charge oh. hey, yeah. mm. hey. Hey. and then whilst you are going instead of praying for you hey what the chair do I want to do somebody should step on it you have no idea what people say they want your your oh my god hallelujah Look at the event and say, wish people well. Even your enemies. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hold up my goings. And we are going to rise on this. Say, say, in the name of Jesus, I come before you. My steps, my ways, my paths, my goings. Hold them up. Hold up my goings so that I will not sleep. In the name of Jesus, I call on your name. Hear my prayer. Hear my prayer. Hear my cry. Lift your voice and pray right now. Come on now, pray right now. I thought you will rise up and pray. I thought you will rise up and pray. Come on now. Don't be tired. Before we come to the communion table. In the name of Jesus. 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 Now you are going to do this prayer as you walk. You take steps specifically. Based on Psalm 119 verse 133. It says, Order my steps in thy word. And let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Iniquity there stands for systemic inhibition things that people, human beings systemically put in your way and so on and so forth. Hallelujah. The inward one, you can initiate a change. Drawing close to the Lord and his imputed righteousness can come over you. But the external one, we are saying the Lord, order my steps. Hallelujah. If there is a booby trap, there are minds, satanic minds laid. Lord, you order your steps away from it. Hallelujah. Amen. Somebody sang the song and said, Alpha and Omega. I shall see near you. 
Wenu majeni na Wenu majeni na My steps in your world, Excuse me, I need some space. I'm about to break up. Hey, excuse me. If the person is annoying, that's okay. Hey, excuse me. Hallelujah. Enlargement is here. We are taking off the limit. We are taking off the limitation. We are ending any war of hell. Let your voice begin to pray. This right now. Take steps. God wants to do a new thing in your life. Hallelujah. And when we read all the way from Isaiah 42, 8, there about all the way to the city, God expounds his word unto us and we see that, you know, he wants to always do something new. 
God wants to show up new things in our life. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah 43 verse number 18 and 19 as well emphasizes on the fact that God wants to do a new thing in our life. Hallelujah. Anytime God is saying that we should nasa, we should advance, we should go forward, he is calling on us to a higher ground. Like Paul the apostle said in Philippians chapter number 3 and verse number 12 and 13, 14. He said, not that I have apprehended, not that I have attained, but I press on. Not that I have become, I have, I have arrived, but I press on, I push on, all the way 13, 14. Hallelujah. Amen. So we must make sure that we press on. We move on to the mark of higher calling. Go to 13. Go to 14. Amen. And so here yeah, God is calling for us to move on to the next level. Edwin Lewis Cole said the life is lived on levels, experience, on stages. And so if there is a level for you, God wants you to be high. You can't walk with the most high and be most low. You must be high in the most high by his power. Hallelujah. 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 Tell your neighbor promotion awaits you. Promotion. An upgrade awaits you. A betterment awaits you. An increase awaits you. A change of status awaits you. A moving up awaits you. A ladder awaits you. That you will climb higher tell your neighbor it's a new day for you and so then the lord said that go into the hill countries go into the Arabah, go into the mountains go into the western foothills go into the negev go into the coastal plain go into the canaanites land go into the lebanon go into river Euphrates. and as you go there hallelujah you will be able to break up you'll be able to advance tell your neighbor keep on going hallelujah the reason why you are alive is this because god is not done with you yet tell your neighbor god is not done with you yet tell the other one behind you god is not done with you yet so don't give up i know that the system is demotivating it's, 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 it's stealing your inspiration but there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the lord god gives him understanding tell your neighbor keep on going hallelujah and so you are lifting up your hands. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Based on Deuteronomy 1. Based on Deuteronomy 1. And verse number 7. And verse number 7. Lift me. Lift me. To all the nine heights. The nine, the nine levels. Nine you have stated for me. Stated for in the name of Jesus. Name of beyond Jesus. myself. Beyond myself. From my generation born. My generation to my born generation born unborn. Generation I born. declare this time. Declare this Come on, lift your voice and pray. Jesus. So when you the focus on me, you will see. Just go to the Tell your neighbor, look into your own family. Not my family. You see, when specks fall into people's eyes, it is easy for you to take it for them. But you, your own, it becomes a Trojan horse. Difficult to take it. We see the wrong in people, but we never see the wrong in ourselves. But the enemy within is more dangerous than the enemy without. And so you are praying, you are looking inward. Jesus said categorically that a man's enemy shall be members of their own household. I'm telling you, that some of them, they know you like him. So when they are coming, they are singing in hymns. They know you like prayer, so they will begin to do kadwa dua. Listen, the other day I was taking somebody through deliverance. At some point, the person stopped and started speaking in tongues. And started telling me the one taking her through the deliverance. Things that God had told me two days ago. 
if it were to be you, you will stop. The, the deliverer will become the deliverer. <laughs> you will need that and say, I was praying and everything I mean, when I was praying with it, he started saying the things I knew God told me that exactly that I said it to Dito praying in tongues then he said for this course you have to do 40 days fasting I added that me to God has told me that you know, I shouldn't go that high so number one error Number two. Now you must read Matthew chapter 35. I said, hey, wherever you came from, you are a familiar demon. You are the kind of demons that deceive people into religion. Make them think God is here. Meanwhile, it's a demon that is there. I command you in the name of the get out I still remember the name of the person. Yeah. Hello. Are you here? What is your uncle? Ah, Give me a sentence and let me add it to my story. Hey. Hello. So they can count a man's enemy. Familiar spirit. A lot of them are operating. We call it spirit of divination. The act is put on. That is what Paul drove out in Acts 16 and they were whipped. Yes, because their, their owners were making sales out of it. Put on spirit. It's a pint on. Hello. Hallelujah. Go into your own family. In meeting, listen. I'm praying that by the time you go home, some people must confess. Are your amen is weak. Are, are you the one? Some people must confess. Some people must run away with their tails in between their legs like a, a dog. They must run away. Some people, when they see you, they must run. We are ending their work. Me, I want to see you do well. Hallelujah. Are you here? Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of by Jesus. The blood, by the blood. That speaketh better to us than the blood, the blood of Abel. I enter into my bloodline. Patrilineal. Patrilineal. And I declare, and I declare an end to the force to the of witchcraft. Of which hooked you. Of course. Let me turn. That has been inhibiting me. Making me go around. Round. I declare. Catch fire. Scatter. Scatter. In the name. Your neighbor and say it's a new day. It's a new day. It's a new season. It's a new season. Tell your neighbor new things are about to happen. New things are about in to your life. In your life, you will see advancement. You see it. You will see the tangible manifestation, tangible manifestation of God's work of God's in work. your life. In your life, as we push into November, push. November will favor you. Amen. November will favor you. Amen. November will favor you. Amen. If you are the one, shout Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before we come to the communion table and bring our seed of faith, we want to come before the Lord and we devote our life. 
it's okay to redevote your life to the Lord. I believe in that. Hallelujah. Amen. And that repentance must be a lifestyle. Hallelujah. We want to come before the Lord and you want to make this confession. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you. Wash me with your blood. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Renew a right spirit within me. I declare an end to all forms of limitation in my life in my bloodline in the name of jesus let your holy spirit fill my life be my lord my personal savior in the name of jesus hallelujah take your seats wherever you find yourself we are about coming to the communion table and the bible makes us to understand that jesus christ sat at the table with the disciples he took bread broke it and said that eat of this this is my body that has been given unto all eat this in remembrance of me his body was broken that will be put together will be put together and so then as we break this i don't know what you have as your emblem those of us in house let's just begin to pray pray right now commit yourself tell the lord that let the communion be something new for me let it give me inspiration let it give me speed to pursue overtake and recover all pray right now in the name of jesus i declare god's goodness over your emblems wherever you're watching in the name of jesus may the body be his body indeed whatsoever you use it, whether crackers wafer whatsoever i decree that it is blessed in the name of jesus christ in jesus mighty name i bring the cup before you and whatsoever you have as your juice as the blood i declare it blessed in the name of jesus we declare an end to any addiction any lifestyle that doesn't please god that prevents you from advancing any character attitude i pray that as you drink of his blood may the lord god deliver you and make you whole in the name of jesus i declare it blessed in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah amen we we are giving envelopes for our seed of faith fasting times are times of giving as well according to Isaiah 58 hallelujah and so you take that envelope take out your offering if you need an envelope you can lift up your hand you will be helped by the ushers hallelujah if you are doing electronically let us have in our details out there our momo maybe you are here you want to do it electronically hallelujah please do the needful amen hallelujah amen and so wherever you are know that you you are included the power of god knows no bounds there is no distance in the realm of the spirit we are praying over our offering our seed of faith our offering take your offering take your tithe if you have your tithe in the house take your tithe in the name of jesus you have a special seed you are calling it the first fruit or whatever yes just take it father in the name of the we bring our seed of faith before you representing our families representing ourselves representing our faith we come before you you said we should give and it will be given unto us good measure press down shaking together running over shall men give unto our bosom you will advance us in prosperity in wealth creation in the name of jesus and wealth transfer we declare that by oh god yes your power Lord, we do the devourer for the sake of those who are tightened in the name of Jesus and pour our blessing so much that there will be no room even to contain the blessing. In the name of Jesus, accept our offering, let it honor you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. So what we're going to do is that as you come, you will bring your offerings. Hallelujah. The golden basket will take your special seed of faith. And then the other one will take your offering. Hallelujah. Amen. Your tithe and your seed of faith will come to the golden basket. Amen. Carries, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2:20 says, 
Then answered I them and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise and build. You can be a part of the banner project by sending your contributions or donations to the account details on the screen. God bless you. Ascaris, beloved one, it is time to build. As Nehemiah 2.20 says, Then answered I them and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore we his servants will arise. You're welcome to Kingdom Harvesters Ministries, where lives are attached to the gospel of the kingdom. Let's have your attention for the following announcement. You're specially invited to our Wednesday Bible studies at 5.30 p.m. as we delve deeper into God's word. We also stand in fervent prayer every Thursday at 9 a.m. prompt. It is an hour of prayer, a non-denominational time. Do well to partake. Our Power Night service is on every Friday at 5.30 p.m. Join us to experience the power of God in our lives. Do well to come along with friends and family to any of our two spirit-filled services. The Proton service, that is our first service, commences at 6.30 a.m. prompt. Our second service, the Ravaya service, commences at 8.30 a.m. Don't be left out. Come and be blessed. Pass Caris. You're welcome to Kingdom Harvesters Ministries, where lives are attached to the gospel of the kingdom. Let's have your attention for the following announcement. You're specially invited to our Wednesday Bible studies at 5.30 p.m. as we delve deeper into God's word. We also stand in fervent prayer every Thursday at 9 a.m. prompt. It is an hour of prayer, a non-denominational time. Do well to partake. Our Power Night service is on every Friday at 5.30 p.m. Join us to experience the power of God in our lives. Do well to come along with friends and family to any of our two spirit-filled services. The Proton service, that is our first service, commences at 6.30 a.m. prompt. Our second service, the Ravaya service,